Hey there YouTube, this is Elite Master bringing you another video review. This time I'll be looking at the Mold Lock M9 Gernsback from Full Metal Panic, the second raid. Now this is it, straight out of the box, no painting. And if you've seen the uh, Gernsback review, this is essentially what they are. A single color, and that's all you're getting. No stickers, nothing. This isn't Bandai, people. But nice nonetheless. It's got great detail all over the body. Some hollowness in some bits. Hmm. It's not bad. Could uh, do for some really good paint job. If you're good at painting, go for it. Because this guy will benefit a hell of a lot from it. The Falk, not as much because he's black. And the only real color difference is there's a dark gray and some red on him. The swords really will stand out the most if you paint it. But on this guy, he's just like start, I'm gonna start like straight off white. Now, then for his articulation, just like the Falk, ball joints everywhere. Ball joint for the head, looks up really nice. Rotate side to side, tilt, all that goodness. Wiggle, wiggle. He's got an extra ball joint up here, so it's armor can flail out or just come straight down to be a shield for a shoulder same arms these two kits actually use this, a lot of the same parts like these arms are the exact same arms as this so are the legs without the armor and everything on it the feet and the ankle armor is exactly the same the chest is exactly the same Except this and that piece are different. This particular piece. Mm. Pretty much take away the head, the shoulders, these bicep parts right here, the armor on the legs right here, and the butt and the uh, butt flap. And you've essentially got the same two model kits. Very few parts that are reused. Very few parts that are uh, unique, actually. As a matter of fact, one whole tray is the same tray as this guy's. Of course, I should say that one tray from this guy is the same as this guy, since this is number four in their series and came out before him. Now then, like I, like I told you, his articulation is pretty much the same as his. Only his legs have a little bit more clearance in them because the armor design... So yeah, it's all good, it's all good in the neighborhood. This piece can wiggle around, forgot to show you that on the fault. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much him. In a nutshell, for size, here he is, next to the Extreme Gundam. Extreme Gundam is a fairly average size mobile suit, and when standing up straight, it's so about half a head taller. But yeah, this guy's nice. Now for accessories, he only has one. And it's this long ass beam, not beam, sniper rifle. <clears throat> it is nice. He's got a moving part right here, just on a ball joint. So I guess you can, you can actually store it on the back. Like so. You can straighten it out. And you see he has molded in hand. So you just have to pop this hand out. Pop this hand in. And you you can only put it in his right hand though, so good luck there. And he can hold his big ass sniper rifle. And you can kind of facilitate a sniping pose. Like if you just somehow maneuver everything right, say he's crouching on the ground, ready to snipe, <laughs> whatever. But this is a nice kit, just like the Gern just like the Falk, 
simple to put together. It took me less than 20 minutes to put both of them together. Very simple. If you like to paint, this guy is good for you. But if you don't like to paint, then I suggest to pass the Mold Lock series in general. Because every Mold Lock kit requires paint. As far as I'm as far as I know. The ball joints allow for great articulation, good detail, and just like with the falk, you can turn the trees, the leftover tree, whoops, into a base. To a stand with an arm on it that you can plug into the back. Which is very nice, like I said in the falk video. How you can use parts of what otherwise would have been trash. Or the very least recyclables. So yeah. That's the M9 Gernsback. This is Elite Master. Have a nice day.